Are the dating apps just not working for you? Do you swipe and swipe, but you're just struggling to get matches and dates with quality, attractive women who you're into? Are your dating app struggles hurting your confidence, making you feel like, ugh, I'm just not good looking enough, I'm not attractive enough, women don't want me? Well, let's fix this today. Because in this video, I'm gonna give you my six game-changing photos that you need on your profile to get more matches, more dates, and soon get you an amazing girlfriend. So let's do it. Let's get you an abundance of dating app matches starting now. I'm dating coach Connell Barrett, the real life hitch. What I do is I help men gain confidence, learn to flirt, and get an amazing girlfriend, and do this all by being authentic. No pickup artist, toxic, creepy tricks needed. This is about showing women your best, most authentic and confident self. And in my 11 years as a dating coach, I've helped thousands of men get tens of thousands of matches on all of the dating apps. So I wanna help you do the exact same thing today. I'm gonna to give you my six game-changing photos. We're gonna go through this step-by-step. Step. I'm gonna tell you the exact photos to use in, in order to get you matches and dates. And stick around to the very end of the video because I'm gonna share with you my seventh bonus tip, sort of a cherry on top, that's gonna to help you send great openers and get women out on dates by texting them the right way. So stick around to the very end. The last tip is gonna melt your brain. Not literally. Let's do it. Let's get you lots of matches. I'm gonna give you a quick Cliff's Notes overview of all six, and then we're gonna go through in detail, step by step, I'm gonna tell you exactly what to do. Here we go. Game-changing photo number one is a portrait of you where you're well-dressed, looking at the camera, eye contact, smiling, an authentic smile, not a fake one, not a Zoolander pose, an authentic smile, and it's in a natural setting, real world behind you as opposed to a studio shot. Photo number two is a second portrait, also well-dressed, also a cool background. You just wanna have different clothing and a different background. Think of the second photo as an alternate version of you, all right? I call these first two portraits, which should go in photo space number one and photo space number two on your profile. I call these the one-two punch because these portraits, is, it's what, boom, boom, gets her attention right away and makes her say, yeah. Okay, photo number three, the awe photo. That means a photo that tugs at her heartstrings. You with a puppy, you dancing with grandma at the wedding, something adorable. Game-changing photo number four is a photo of you out in the world doing something either masculine or athletic or active, okay? I'll give you more details on that shortly. Photo number five is a social photo. Think Instagram. Think the kind of photo that shows you out in the world, you're, you're socializing with people at a cool place, or you're having cocktails at a fancy uh, bar. Uh, basically, it's a social shot to show your cool lifestyle and or some cool people you hang out with. Photo number six, is a wild card. I call this the cherry topper or also the goosh. The goosh is a term I heard, I just love it. Basically, it makes a woman who's on the fence about swiping on you say, oh my God, I love this last photo, swipe right, I'm in. I hope he texts me. So this can be a wild card photo, meaning it could be something completely uh, outside the box, something goofy, something silly. It also could just be another really good portrait that we want to use. So we'll talk about how to do that cherry topper, AKA the goosh in a little bit. Uh, before I go through each of these six photos and what I want you to do, I want to give you three big revelations I had about online dating. And uh, it's important for me to share this before we do the steps. Uh, so here's uh, revelation number one. Your photos are about 80% of your online dating success, 80%. So whether or not you get matches and dates, it's really gonna be because of your photos primarily, okay? That's why this is so important to make sure you have handled. So we wanna put time and thought into them. Here's the mistake I'll bet you're making. Here's why you're not getting matches. You just go through your phone and you grab five or six photos that you think look good enough. But you're not curating your photos in a way that show the woman what's in it for her. And that leads to revelation number two that I had back when I was working on this in my own love life. Revelation number two is every photo you have, it might be a photo of you, but it's for her. Every single part of your profile, especially the photos, 
should be what's in it for her. Because you've got a really cool, cute girl looking at your profile. She's swiping. She doesn't care that you're at work holding a beer with your four friends looking at the camera. There's nothing in it for her there. However, if she sees you skiing down the slopes or maybe sipping a hot toddy at the ski lodge you went to last winter, she's gonna say, oh, I wanna be part of that guy's life. I wanna sip hot toddies at a ski lodge. So think of every photo and frankly, every single word of your profile, it's all about what's in it for her. It's about you, but it's for her. The third revelation I had is simply that online dating isn't really dating. It's not dating until you meet up and actually start going on dates. Until then, it's marketing. You're marketing yourself. So let's look at you and I overhauling your profile in this video series as a digital marketing test, uh, a campaign where you are simply creating a piece of digital marketing that we want women to swipe on. And what works with digital marketing, it's really all about what the person on the other end of that phone wants. It's about giving something they want. If you've struggled up to now with your online dating profile, I have great news for you. It's not that you suck, it's that your marketing sucks. It's not that you're unattractive, it's that your marketing is not appealing. It's not that you're not a great, awesome, dateable guy, it's that you have marketing photos, a profile that does not showcase you in the most attractive light. In other words, you're not giving enough value to that woman who wants to swipe on a great guy. So this is good news, it might sound harsh. Your, your marketing sucks. Well, frankly, it does suck. But that's good news. This is fixable, and that's what we're gonna fix today. Okay, check out this. This is an actual screenshot from my client, Ben. Ben came to me getting no good matches on the apps, and using the strategies I'm about to share with you, he's now getting 50, 60, 70 matches every single week. In fact, he got 83 matches with quality, attractive women. So from zero to 83 matches. That's the power, and that's the benefit of getting these right six game-changing photos working for you. Let's do it. Let's get into these six game-changing photos, photo by photo. And we start with game-changing photo number one, that first portrait. The first portrait will be your very best uh, lead magnet. This is what most women, or at least a plurality of women are gonna swipe on. They're gonna swipe on that first portrait. So let's use my current uh, Hinge profile as an example. Here's me on Hinge. And this photo is I want you to notice that in this first photo, uh, this is a portrait of me, and I wanna share with you the concept of the three S's. We wanna make sure that your first portrait, actually your first two portraits, hit the three S's. What are the three S's? Number one is style. Number two is smile. Number three is setting. What does that mean? Number one is you wanna look well-dressed. Basically, whatever you would wear for a first date, whatever you would wear if you were gonna be photographed for the cover of a magazine, that's what you wanna wear in that first portrait photograph. You wanna look great, so that's style. Number two is smile. You want to look at the camera with eye contact, just like I'm doing in this photo, and you wanna give a real authentic smile. It's gotta come from a real genuine place. So no smoldering Zoolander, glares, <laughs> um, no trying to look sexy. Dude, I don't look sexy. When I try to look sexy, I look constipated. I look like I had too much shrimp for lunch. So don't try to look sexy. Give her a big, real, genuine smile. It's gonna make your whole face light up. Uh, so make that smile real, that's the second S. And the third S for a great portrait is you want the setting, the backdrop, to be real. This photo of me was taken in a, a workspace. It looks very real, relatable. It doesn't, I hope, look like sort of a manufactured studio setting. Don't take studio photos of yourself. Make sure it's in a real setting. So those are the three S's, smile, style, and a real setting. And if you make sure those three S's are handled, you have a really good chance of that first portrait getting you tons of matches. This photo that you're looking at of me, this photo gets me about, I would say 35, 40% of my matches. This photo, got me my girlfriend, Jess. She swiped on this photo because she loved my smile and she liked my style. And also the fact that it was taken in a real setting, it doesn't take her out of the moment. It makes it, it feels very real world. One last important point about this first photo. Everything comes down to authenticity in dating. In my book, if you're not being authentic, you're not projecting your most attractive self. This photo 
especially the smile, the clothes, everything, it's very genuine. It's very authentic. I'm not trying to be somebody I'm not. I'm not like on a motorcycle scowling with a leather jacket. That's not me. I'm, who am I? I'm like a nerdy, quasi-hipster dating coach and teacher. And in fact, many women, including my girlfriend Jess, have said, oh, I love your photo, I love your smile. And I've heard this many times. I've heard, you have like a college professor vibe about you that I like, or the, the, the cool school teacher vibe. And that's genuine, by the way. This is actually who I am. Instead of big dick energy, I have big school teacher energy. <laughs> and um, it's all part of projecting an authentic, real, amplified, but genuine version of yourself. Anyway, so portrait number one, Go get a portrait taken where you're well-dressed, looking at the camera, smile, and we'll talk about this in a separate video, but get a somebody who knows how to take a photo to take this portrait. Okay, that's portrait number one. Oh, by the way, you might think that good looks are required to get success with online dating. That's not true. Good looks are kind of like, kind of like having a jacuzzi. It's nice to have, but it's way overrated. What you really need are these six magnetic photos. Bottom line is, you could look like Brad Pitt or you could look like Brad Garrett. It doesn't matter. If you get these right photos in the right order, you're gonna get matches, you're gonna get dates. Like, take it from me. I look like a cross between Ron Weasley and the lead singer from Weezer, and I do amazing, and so can you. Portrait number two, the three S's still apply, smile, style, and setting. Also, you should probably make eye contact and you should smile. However, for the second portrait, you want to have a different outfit and a different backdrop. Why? Well, let's put ourselves in the shoes of a woman. She's swiping and she sees, oh, who's this redheaded dude? All right, I like the tie, not bad. He's got the professor, school teacher vibe kind of into it. Then she looks at my second photo, leather jacket. New York City backdrop behind me. She sees, also she sees a different angle of my face. In my second photo, I'm not making eye contact, which is okay. And I'm, I've been told that I have a good profile, so I'm showing off that profile. And from the perspective of the woman who's swiping, we want her to see a second side of you, a different side. So in the first photo, it's professor, teacher, dating coach, Connell. In the second photo, it's a little bit more edgy. It's edgier. It's a little bit hip, leather jacket, man about town, New York City, just a different vibe. Even though most women like my school teacher vibe, a lot of girls have said, hey, that's a cool outfit, I like your jacket. There's a little bit of bad boy, a little bit of edge in my second photo, just because of my black leather jacket, but I'm still smiling, I'm still very relatable. So think of the first two portraits. Brother, I promise you, as much as I can promise you anything, I would say if you nail these first two portraits, these will be responsible for 51% or more of your matches. These first two portraits are so important. If you're not doing it now or not doing it correctly now, you are losing out on a lot of potential matches. For that second photo, just make sure different outfit, also looking great and different backdrop. And one last point about photos. This is super important. You might be familiar with a great website called Photofeeler, photofeeler.com. Here's what I want you to do. Go out, take a bunch of portraits, two different outfits, two different backdrops, a ton of portraits. Hire a photographer if you want to. If not, you can get a friend who's really good with a camera and have that person take the photos. And you wanna take your best eight, 10, 12 photos, sorry, portraits, and test them on photofeeler.com, which gives you focus group feedback from single women. And these women are gonna rate your photos on attractiveness and trustworthiness and intelligence. So with Photofeeler, you're gonna get some great data to let you know here are the best, most attractive portraits that you should start with on your dating profile. Make sure you have two fantastic portraits that kick off your profile that you've tested on Photofeeler. And then, yes, is this a little bit of work? Does it take some effort to have these photos taken? It does, but guess what? Once you have all six of these photos in order, we're gonna turn your phone into a date generating machine. And you're never gonna have to change anything, anything again on your profile if you don't want to. In other words, we get you to that place of set it and forget it. Got my six magnetic game changing picks. Now just let the matches roll in and you don't have to do 
anything else. Uh, and I call these first two portraits again, the one-two punch, because if you get these two portraits down, then you're gonna get so many matches just from these two photos because this is what women are swiping on. Game-changing photo number three, your aw photo. As in, aw, isn't that cute? It's him with a dog or dancing with grandma. Basically, this is your photo that tugs at her heartstrings. Because remember, I can't say this enough, every photo on your profile is about you, but it's for her. It's for her benefit. It's about what you can bring of value to her dating life. And women want a guy who isn't just handsome portraits. She wants to see that heart, that relatability, that realness. And that's what this third photo does. So in sequence, we've got portrait number one, portrait number two, and then we tug at her heartstrings. How do we do it? My go-to is this really great photo I have of me with my friend's dog. This is not my dog. You don't need a dog, your own dog, to have a photo on your profile of a dog, but it does work. Women love puppies, women love dogs. So this is my awe photo. I get so many likes and matches on this photo. Other options are you dancing with grandma or great grandma at the wedding, or maybe you're at the zoo and the elephant sticks its trunk over and you're laughing and giggling about this interaction with an animal. Uh, think about what would make a woman go, aw, that's so cute. Could be a photo with you and your mom and dad. As long as there's a clear heart connection in the photo, you guys are just in that great family mode. One little tip about using a dog photo. Don't just hold your dog up and show you with your dog. We don't want this photo to look like a piece of editorial. Like, hey ladies, I have a dog. Wanna swipe right now? No, no, no. We want her to look at this photo and feel like, oh my God, what an adorable moment that I caught. We want it to feel and be very candid. So again, the photo I use, the reason why women love this is it feels very organic and real. It just happened in the moment, as opposed to, hey ladies, look, I have a dog. So my tip is, is be interacting with your dog or cat if you're gonna go with an animal photo. Be having your dog lick your face or playing with your cat or uh, your cat is, I don't know, making biscuits on your chest. Something in the moment is gonna work way better than just a shot of you holding your pet, okay? Game-changing photo number four is the masculine slash action photo. For the fourth slot, we want a photo of you out in the world doing something athletic or manly or masculine. So think, think sports. Think you playing tennis, playing soccer, shooting hoops with the guys, maybe on the beach throwing a frisbee to your dog. Axe throwing could be a cool photo. A more masculine type photo would be you're at a whiskey bar, a fancy, cool, manly kind of bar holding your, holding your scotch whiskey. Think masculine action athletic. We want to show women that you are a man out in the world taking action. You're engaged in sports, you're a man. And because part of the value proposition of a really good dating profile is you're saying, hey, I have a heart, I'm well-dressed, I have great photos, also I'm a man. Women want that, that masculine essence to be part of what's gonna make them swipe right. So for me, I am not the most manliest guy in the world. I am so not manly, at least compared to some guys, you know? I do musical theater, I like rom-coms. I'm kind of a chick, but what I have is a great photo of me playing tennis. So here's my tennis photo. This is me in action mode, playing tennis, hitting a forehand, looking about as athletic as I can look as a not natural athlete. But women see this photo and just think, okay, cool. He's a man out in the world uh, and this is attractive to women who like my type. So uh, have that fourth photo be manly slash athletic or active. It's okay to do something physical like boxing class. Uh, if you do martial arts, a photo of you in kickboxing, taekwondo, awesome, from the class. Don't just take a photo of you at the gym. Just weightlifting photos, pumping iron photos, they don't go over that well. So yeah, just avoid those. Think candid, think caught in the moment photos, or at least photos that look that way. Here's a pro tip. When taking an athletic shot, feel free to film or video shoot a few seconds of the activity, and then you can go to the specific screenshot on the video and select the best screenshot for the photo. This tennis shot was actually taken by my tennis instructor who just was taking a video of me. I scrolled to the exact part that I felt made me look manly or at least athletic. 
and about as rugged and athletic as I can look. So that's a pro tip. Take a quick video and then just scroll to the very best frame. Game changing photo number five. This is a socializing, social proof photo. A photo that shows you out in the world, engaged in a, either in a cool place, hanging out with cool people, or maybe even both. Basically, it's you out and having fun socially in the world. And this should not be a photo where you're looking at the camera. We don't want all your photos looking at the camera like a portrait that comes across as too editorial. We want lots of photos of you just caught in the moment of living your awesome life. And that's what makes a woman say, yeah, I wanna be part of that. So for my photo, I, I'm a karaoke lover. And here's a photo of me on karaoke night. And I'm just singing with a friend, my friend Billy. And we're just having a good time doing a duet. Um, and uh, it's just me having fun. I also have a solo shot of me doing karaoke. And notice that I'm wearing a really cool leather jacket. I'm well dressed. I'm always presenting uh, an avatar of myself that's as attractive but authentic as I can make it. Other ideas for social shots uh, is you dancing, tearing up the dance floor at a wedding or at the club. It could be you at a nice fancy cocktail bar and you and your friends are toasting with martini glasses. It could be you out uh, at dinner, laughing and joking with friends. Uh, I have a client who's got a great shot of him at weddings, laughing with his friends. And what we're doing here is we want a woman looking at your profile to say, oh yeah, I wanna be with him in that cool lounge, that cool bar. I wanna be his plus one at the wedding. So that's why we want photo number five to be that high value social shot. This is very attractive to women. And here is game changing photo number six. I love this last one. This is wild card. Let's call this the cherry topper or the wild card. Game changing photo number six is something that looks very different than the other five photos. Think of it like this. If a woman is on the fence about swiping right and matching with you, we want this to have her hit that heart button. And if she's already into you, she's gonna really be into you after this photo. I think of the sixth photo as, as something different than everything else. So think silly, think weird, but in a good way, think fun. So for example, my sixth photo right now is this photo of me from Halloween. Um, Sergeant Dick Utopia, my hot cop Halloween outfit. And women love this photo because hey, what woman wouldn't want to get dressed up for Halloween and have a great date with a guy? Uh, but also it's just very different than everything else. It shows my sense of humor, my personality. It gives that glimpse into what dating me might be like for her. But other options for your sixth and final photo, the wild card, you could do a really cool travel photo as long as there's an amazing backdrop. You know, you're in Hawaii, with a mountain behind you, and that would be a nice different photo than what she's seen. Uh, or you could do, I had a client once who um, had a great photo. <laughs> it was just a, um, a photo of him wearing a leather jacket, and he was pointing to the back of his jacket, so it didn't show his face. It just showed the back of his jacket, and, and the photo had his, I'm sorry, the jacket had his nickname on it. His nickname is The Gooch. So it, just, it, was, it was a shot of his back showing The Gooch. That breaks the rules of online dating photos, but in a good way. You're interrupting her pattern and giving her that fun, final, different photo to make her say, hell yeah, I wanna go on a date with this guy. And one final thought about the sixth and final photo. If you don't have a really good, fun, unusual wild card photo, then what you could do is take another portrait that you think is really good and high quality and put that in the sixth slot. Uh, we just don't want it to look like your first two portraits. So that is uh, game-changing photo number six. Okay, here are the five photos you never want to put on your profile. Do not make these mistakes. Number one, no selfies. I don't know about you, selfies give me nine chins. Don't do selfies, they're not flattering and they're very common, women will swipe left. Number two, no shirtless pics. No shirtless photos unless you got the guns, you got the body, you got the gun show tickets are on sale now. If you've got the guns, okay, fine, do shirtless, but only in the right context. So you shirtless at the beach, you shirtless 
uh, in the jacuzzi on, you know, during the, the vacation. Don't do shirtless bathroom selfies and just generally stay away from shirtless shots unless they're in a place that makes sense for the photo, okay? Number three, no sunglass photos. Women wanna see you, they wanna connect with you with your eye contact, no photos of you wearing sunglasses. Photo number four, no photos of you being clearly drunk. It's okay to have a drink, it's okay to be in a cool social setting where alcohol is served, but you don't want a photo of you looking drunk or inebriated, it just lowers your status, it's not attractive. And last but not least, Photo number five not to use is you going fishing, holding a fish. No fish photos allowed. Look, women don't want to date the captain from Jaws. They want to date you. So no fish photos. Uh, <laughs> there's a chapter in my book, the title is, it's not you, it's the halibut you're holding. So yeah, don't do any fish photos. Um, leave that to the fishermen. Here's your bonus tip. Uh, the thing that I was teasing earlier, here's what I want you to know, and it's about texting. Once you have all these game-changing photos going and humming and your profile is in a good place, you don't have to text as well as you think. Your openers and texting, it still has to be good enough, but it doesn't have to be amazing. One of the biggest myths in online dating is that you have to be some amazing, witty, incredible, perfect texter. You don't. What you need are these six game-changing photos and a great profile. Once you have that, the woman sees so much value in dating you, she's, she's so into you, in theory, that your texts just have to be good enough. Let me try to prove this point to you. Who is your dream girl? Let's say it's Gal Gadot. Let's say you see Gal Gadot on Hinge and uh, the two of you match. How good would her texting have to be for you to go on a date with her? If she just wrote you, hi, how are you? How's your day? If she sent you boring, normal texts, would you still absolutely go on a date with Gal Gadot? Hell yeah, you would, I hope. Similarly, when a woman sees so much value in you because you have these great six photos, your texting doesn't have to be nearly as incredible, okay? Now, we're gonna have a whole separate video all about how to text and get lots of women out on dates with you, but just know that a great benefit of these game-changing photos is we get to lower that bar for how good your texting has to be. Okay, in my next video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step everything you need to write a bio and to write prompts on any dating app to get you more matches, to get you conversations with women, and then soon to get you going on some dates. So click the video on your screen to learn how to write a great bio and remember, your dream girlfriend, she's already out there, she already likes you. She just has to meet the real, authentic you.